guys, let's start out with congratulations. How exciting is this? Were you super fans of the show before you joined? Give me all the details. <laughs> all the deets. It was, you know, this show, you, it's like when, when it first came out, you, you, everyone talks about it. And then and then in the, mm -hmm. in, the, in, the, in the mid, whatever, you know, in the 10th season, everyone's still talking about it. <laughs> and now like 18th season, like it's, they, everyone was still talking about it. So it's so cool to like be here and, and talk about the show that's been going for so long and so, it also feels so fresh and new. Congratulations. You did it. You're here. We didn't hire you for your grades. We hired you for your fight. Well, I mean, it's pretty incredible that here we are season 19. And I was saying this before to someone else. I said, usually when someone new comes in, everyone's like, oh, you know, I'm so loyal to my other people. I'm, <laughs> I'm done. And that is not the case with Grey's Anatomy. So in the spirit of that, please tell me, I won't tell you to describe your character, but maybe give me like three words that would sum up who you're playing in season 19. I, I will I will say from my character, it'd be like, ooh, I love to hate him, but I love him. That's too many words, but- But I'll take all of them. That's something like that. <laughs> if I had to pick three words for Jules, I'd say bossy, free-spirited, and kind. Okay, I gotta see how that works. <laughs> I know, I know. She's an interesting um, one. I'm going to go underestimated, passionate, and uh, driven. Now, I'm very curious, when you when you joined the season, were there any, like, because this is how I picture it in my mind. It's like the OGs versus the new cast, not in a negative way, but more of like, maybe there are pranks that are going on. Maybe there's some jokes that you guys <laughs> don't know how it is. Was there any of that behind the scenes? I mean, they were just really kind. They were really kind to us. After we played and... tug of war first, we're just, like we had like a <laughs> that's heavy... what I want to hear <laughs> to establish dominance. And we walked know? in to establish dominance. After like who fight. can pull the red rope? Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, Adelaide. Yeah, they were they're awesome, right? When we they just were really kind and welcoming, room. and gave us like lots of advice. There have been a lot of jokes about like, oh, you guys have so much energy. And we're like, yeah. Yeah, there's been a lot of that. We're brand new, fresh <laughs> off the line. We're so excited. And they're like, okay. Just, yeah. you know, just, get, just give it like six months on this give schedule. Like, yeah. Love your energy for now. Can you can give like, that to some of us, please. Me and so. Nico were like throwing Frisbees outside and they're yeah. just like, oh, y'all like uh, are really like doing it. And I was like, oh, makeup. No, no, no. Okay, you can't sweat too much here, blah, blah, blah. It, but it's, it's so fun. They just. They play too, and that's the that's the cool part. I, you know, I, I think for I don't know for y'all, but like walking in, I was like, okay, it's Grey's Anatomy. There's drama. There's in, like all the mm -hmm. stuff that's happening, but it's just a fun environment. You know, everyone obviously gets serious when they when they need to, but there's just also such a like a, a levity in a, in a lot of um, uh, areas that I, I didn't know I didn't know that was that we had the freedom to do that. But it's been really Aww. sweet to be able to do yeah, that. Everybody's yeah. been super approachable and like open with their time and advice and just even on set when we're shooting we're just such given actors that i don't know i'm i feel blessed to be a part of this set how do we declare brain death dr kwan numerous criteria must be met before determination of brain death including at least two clinical exams and a confirmatory test such as a brain scan well how's the medical lingo going did you struggle with that having i would i would struggle how did that go for you or do you have it nailed down? Uh, it's my As mom's, you know, the silence that just happened right there. <laughs> yeah, my mom's a nurse in Australia, so I'm, I'm familiar with quite a lot of the jargon, but I, I didn't realize until I started working on Grey's that I had never heard these medications or these procedures in an American accent. Mm. Uh, so that was, I haven't had to work on my American accent in years. So that was a real like, oh, I'm saying these completely wrong it sort of like you know takes away from from the illusion uh so that was pretty funny where i was like oh, oh gosh okay I, I need to first time in my life i need to learn how to say ibuprofen instead of ibuprofen oh 
It was automatic because I've never <laughs> had to say that in American sure. accent. Funny enough, she says it better than us. So I mean, yeah. she's doing a lot better. Even though she, she, she has like an extra layer and she's doing a lot better than us. So we, we always look to, to Addie. Yeah, I That's not imagine. true. Your knots are incredible. You have the best knots out of all of us. You tie true. knot classes and just blows suture through it. Classes. Yeah, like that. It's crazy. I'm like working on one and Harry's got like eight going and I'm like, whoa, whoa, what's going on there? <laughs> He's moved on to the, the boot camp. Eight part knot. Wait, do y'all go to boot camp? Okay. Yeah, we did a whole yeah, boot camp. Boot camp. Yeah, wait, cool. wait, wait, wait. What does medical boot camp involve? Um, a lot of knot tying uh, <laughs> um, uh, and, well, you know, we stitching, um, yeah. you know, really yeah, like the real mm -hmm. tools, the real everything. Um, we saved a couple of lives. No, just kidding. Uh, no, <laughs> no, but yeah, we. I mean, it, we they, they really just threw us in, and because like, we had a week to kind of prep everything, and, and it was mm -hmm. it was fun. It was really fun and also exhausting. This just got super real. I see something in them: the spark, yeah. the drive, the genius. When you yeah. found out that you were cast for season 19 of Grey's Anatomy. Like, who's the person you called? Was there a dance that was done? Was there a scream, a run into the street? Yes, actually. I, I screamed and then I cried because I was so oh. excited. Um, I was in London at the time, uh, waiting for my visa to renew. And I was with my partner who had COVID. So I was taking care of my partner who was sick with COVID while we were on holiday. Um, so I was really exhausted and I got the news and I was like, <sighs> and then just started crying because it had been such Aww. an intense like two weeks. That's my great story. Yeah. For me, um my well, I told my mom first. I was I was visiting them in Florida and uh my, my mom was getting her nails done at a salon, I think, and then I called her and I was like, Hey mom, so I, I think I'm gonna be in Grey's Anatomy. Um and then she screamed in the nail salon and I, I could hear it on the phone. I was like, Okay mom, you're in public. Can you, all right, we'll, we'll do this when we get home, okay? All right. <laughs> Same thing with Nico. I called my mom and um, her reaction was like, same thing like she was she was so excited but she's like you're gonna be a doctor i'm like well no no mom, i'm not gonna be a do like actual doctor she's like it's good enough it's good enough it's good enough so it's enough close enough that's funny 